Welcome back to Team 24751's FTC 101 mini series Engineering Portfolio. Today, we will guide you through the mechanics section of your portfolio. This section will showcase your robot's design process, how you work through challenges, and your problem solving journey. First and foremost, your robot's design process. Show the judges how your team came up with ideas and what problems you wanted to solve. This could include sketches, cat designs, and your brainstorming sessions. Be sure to show how your design evolved as you test it and learn more about your robot's performance. Next, document your engineering decisions. Why did you choose specific parts or materials? What factors did you consider when selecting your motors or sensors? Discuss the trade-offs you've made between different options or some calculated risks taken. Did you decide to go with larger wheels or a more powerful motor? Explain why. Another key aspect to include is the process of testing and iteration. Document the tests you've conducted, the results, and how you improve your designs based on what you learned. This shows your commitment to refining your robot and how you respond to challenges by making smart adjustments. Keep in mind that problem solving is one of the core values of the first organization and could paint your team in a good light. Finally, include personal stories about your team's journey. Did a particular design feature make a huge difference in the robot's performance or help a team member learn? Include photos or metrics that show how those decisions led to a more functional and efficient robot. Regarding teamwork, show how team members contributed to the mechanical aspects. Who designed what? Did someone focus on the intake mechanism who worked on the lift mechanism. This section highlights team collaboration and how everyone brought their skills to the table. Showcase how your team worked together, made decisions, and learned from each other. Teamwork is at the core of FTC. Of equal importance are future plans and sustainability. Judges want to see that your team is thinking about the long-term impact of your work and how your efforts will continue to evolve. Have you already planned out potential upgrades for your robot? What areas are you looking to improve on based on this season's experience? Share insights and lessons from past seasons. Have you made adjustments to your design process based on earlier mistakes or successes? Firstly, mention trade-offs and calculated risk. Show why you made certain choices and compare the pros and cons if possible. For example, did you opt for light materials at the expense of strength? Did you risk a mechanism with a higher failure rate to get better performance? Explain the reasoning and include visuals to help explain your decisions. Secondly, add metrics and testing results. Numbers are powerful in showing progress. Track cycle times, efficiency, or any measurable metrics like how long it takes your robot to collect or score pieces. If you improve your design over time, create graphs or charts to show those improvements. This data helps justify your engineering decision. In conclusion, creating a winning EP is not just about showcasing a finished robot. It is about telling the story of your team's journey from brainstorming to designing and refining. Make sure to highlight your mechanical process, teamwork, and problem solving. Good luck creating your engineering portfolio. And remember, it's all about the process as much as the end result. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode of FTC 101.